Lately, it seems every app is on a quest to be your every app. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. Spotify has made a name for itself as a music app. You can stream some pre-made playlists or craft your own mix. And if you pay $10 a month, you can even pick and choose the songs you want to hear on demand on the go. But now Spotify is becoming a video app featuring clips of news and entertainment programming. Spotify is just the latest app to push video on users. And there are a few reasons for that. For one, there's more money to be made with video advertisements compared to audio ads. And two, Spotify just wants to get you sucked into its app for a longer stretch of your day. Spotify even said it wants to be a 24-7 app that you never close, where you can also watch exclusive clips. Spotify is just the latest app on the quest to be your everything app. You see it in Facebook, obviously, with the network pushing more video and news. And you see it in Snapchat, as it features more video entertainment. But adding more places to watch video isn't something the world needs. It's not solving a consumer problem. Frankly, there are too many choices for where to watch videos. But Spotify is hoping extra features help it stand apart from competing services. Apple is expecting to reveal something similar to Spotify very soon. But the most unique part of Spotify's update has nothing to do with video. If you're listening while on a jog, the app is able to play music that matches the speed of your run. The phone's accelerometer is tracking your steps and plays music with a beat that matches your stride. Even app games are not immune to the temptations of becoming the everything app. The trivia game QuizUp has updated to become a social network. QuizUp launched in 2013, encouraging you to challenge friends and strangers around the world. But now it wants you to stay after the game to chat and connect with others that share your same interests. It even has something like a news feed for you to post photos. Also, you can spend more time of your life looking at your phone and writing comments to people you don't know. And YouTube is hoping to become a bigger destination for the video game community. YouTube added the ability to stream live video at 60 frames per second. That makes it a better platform for gamers to share their video game footage in real time. The high frame rates are important for gaming streams. And right now, the most popular destination for sharing footage is Twitch. That's owned by Amazon. So if you wonder who Google's biggest competitor is, just look to Amazon. It may not have the Everything app, but the Everything store is a powerful rival when it comes to search. That's your tech news update. Be sure to follow along on Twitter and subscribe to the podcast for more techie goodness. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.